So it appears everybody wants to know how I got Skylanders Trap Team to run on an old phone. I will keep... I will inform you that before you attempt this, you have to have... At, I have a minimum of 8 gigs. This phone only has 16 gigabytes and it can barely hold it. So if you got one with 32 or 64 or more, you're good. Secondly, you have to be running Android 9 or older. Yes, Android 9. It will not work on Android 10, not 11, and it won't work on 12. It has to be 9 or older. You can pick up a Android 9 device for like uh, 80 bucks. You probably will have 16 gigs, so if you buy a 32, it might be like 100 some. Anyway, once you have that, you'll have to go onto the archive site. I'm not going to do it on there because I already have the files. So it's in the video description, but it'll take you to this archive site. Here you're going to want to download three files. You're going to want to download this data file this OBB file, and this APK file. You will need all three of these. I have an SD card and I put all these three files, these three, into the SD card. Moving back, first you're going to want to do is open up the SD card that you have the files located and you're just going to want to install Skylanders Trap Team. Hit done. Now, if you want to save space on your device, what you can do is go into app info and you can go into storage and change it from internal to the SD card. So then this way the app will be on the SD card. If it doesn't show up for you, you will have to go into developer mode and enable the use of the SD card as a storage location. How you would do that is you'd go into settings. You would first, if this doesn't show up, you'd have to go into about phone. You'll have to go into software information, and then you're going to have to repeatedly press build number until it says you are now successfully a developer. Then you want to go into developer options, and all the way down at the bottom for me, it says force allow apps on external. Turn that on. Once done, you can move the app onto the SD card, and now we go to the second part. Second part is the OBB. This is a data file that has some of the data. I have installed RINRAR because this is a RAR file. You're going to need to download RAR on your phone. So go inside, you'll find the file. So all I did is that I w opened up the file with RAR. And then I'm going to grab this file or folder and I'm going to extract it to the internal storage location in from zero, storage emulated zero, Android, OBB, and just hit OK. Hit OK. And it will copy from the zip file into the storage of your phone. It has to be in the storage of your phone. I have tried the SD card storage. It does not work. Okay. Once it is done extracting, you're going to want to go back. So, I would now go and test the app and make sure it runs and launches. Sometimes if you launch, you'll try to say it's still trying to download, in which case, redo the extraction of the OBB file. So right now it is booting up. 
but this will basically give you the basics. You'd be able to play the first level, and that would be it. It would give you instant snapshot and instant food fight, but yeah, that's it. So, now that we know it's working, we'll just swipe that away to close it, and we'll go back to the files. Now, uh, don't worry about this, I just took the time to, uh, separate the files. My SD card is FAT32, it can't handle more than 4 gigabytes. I forgot to mention that prior. If your phone does not handle 4 gigabytes, try to download the file onto your computer and then split it up into two parts. That's what I did. Anyway, so second part now is where you're going. I'm just going to use RAR. You're going to go into the SD card and I'm going to take number two first. Open that, open that. Get, take cash and unpack it to your internal storage, Android, data, trap team, files, and extract to here. <sighs> Once you have extracted all the files, you're now going to go back grab the cache and extract that first into Android data trap and just hit OK and hit replace then we're going to go into files and we're gonna copy or extract the cache cloud storage device file cache reserve alchemy C D N L R U file, but none of these because these are saves. So if you're gonna copy this, that means you'd start from scratch. Uh, if you don't want to do that, then just don't copy these guys. So extract those guys into your internal storage, Android data, trap team, files, and just hit OK. Hit yes to replace and wait for the rest of the files to extract. This one doesn't take that long. Hit replace, hit replace, hit replace, done. So now we can close out RAR. As you can see, I'm down to 2.5 gigs. We're going to open up Trap Team. We're going to turn on the portal and the controller, because why not navigate the game that way. Now, if you have a device with more than 16 gigabytes of storage, everything should be fine. Just la launch into a game. However, since I'm at 16 gigabytes of internal storage, I don't have enough space. So, we're going to do something uh, different. We're going to ignore this. And we're just going to swipe it away. Now, if you're like me with only 16 gigs and you have 2.5 or less, what I did was that I would go into Files, Internal, Android, Data, Trap Team, Files, Cache, Download Cache, Tablet 2014, ANDB, 
And then I would scroll all the way down until you started seeing levels. And I would scroll e all the way down until you get to these extra levels. Don't delete hub. Don't delete these guys. Because these guys are responsible for your world from after you complete a mission. This is your hub. I just delete these files, the 300, level 300 and some. I find this doesn't affect the levels at the beginning. So if you ever do run into uh if you ever do run into a mission that won't load and it says parsing data that means it's trying to load the level in which case i would suggest deleting older level data that you have played and then pasting back in the level data that you had deleted Again, if you have more than 16 gigabytes of storage, it shouldn't be an issue. But now we're going to launch it and try it again. Move on. Yep. It should now work. So, snapshot. And roll. There you go. Skylanders trap team on a mobile phone. Or tablet. Depending on yours. Anyway. That's the tutorial. It should be pretty simple and easy to follow. If you have any questions or concerns ask away in the comments i'm also on reddit uh you'll find me in the skylanders subreddit so enjoy the rest of your day